I'm with you on um not like okay, COVID's real, but like it's just like the flu at this point to me. I'm like, I'm not gonna go fucking take a test. Like I'm sick. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Like yeah, like and I you think know? I even I think I even have a test. And I'm like, what what am I gonna do if I have it? I'm not gonna get on Paxlovid. No, you just like write it out. Write it out. And it's it's, it's, it's a pretty mild. Yeah, it's pretty mild. It's just like a low grade fever. And I'm not kidding. The fatigue, like the fatigue. I've never fatigued like this before in my life. Yeah, when I had COVID a couple was that a month or two ago? Yeah, man, it 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 does knock you off your feet. But like also, it is the probably the only illness that you like. Everyone's just like, yes, please, just lay down for a few, like a few days. So yeah. that's also nice. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. Yeah, recording from my bed again today for those who are not uh, watching. P, I wasn't. Even, I'm not even kidding. I was like, do I even want to cover part three of the fucking <laughs> Beverly Hills reunion? I was just so <laughs> mad about it. I was so insulted when Ke- when Kyle had the nerve. Yes, I've, yes, I, it was crazy because she had nerve. Yeah, it was really hard because you know we usually record yes like on Thursdays, and so I was trying not to l- look at anybody's content, so I didn't like form any uh, you know I, form, I didn't want to get anybody's in my head, but like I yep. everyone I just I could just like whenever anybody was about to cover it, I could just hear the uh, Kyle, like just the anger that people had. I was like, okay, she did something. <laughs> just Kyle done fucked up. <laughs> she did. Up. Well let's start with Miami because I have Miami was like a cute wrap up, you know, whatever. And like I just want to kind of go off about Beverly Hills after that. Oh yes. I love when you go off. <laughs> Hi, kitty cat. Kitty cat. I know. T- they were, uh, for the Vanderpump, they were there the whole time. It was so cute. Like, oh, I didn't I even enjoyed- notice the other one there. Oh, yeah. So for those who can't see, this is Penny right here because she really just blends in with this blanket. Yeah, she. I thought that was the blanket until yeah. <laughs> she blends in with the blanket. Okay. Uh, obsessed with Gertie and also Julia, straight up telling Larsa, we know you had a BBL. Yeah. Like, let's finally just stop lying, Larsa. Stop telling us you didn't have a BBL. It's Larsa's level of delusion is impressive because she just decides like her old life doesn't exist and that she's living in a brand new like realm and reality because it's like there are photos of you like you can't get what you have no matter how much you work out. No. So no. like it's, it's, it's the most it's unnatural impossible. looking thing, girl. There's nothing like no amount of squats, deadlifts, no. none of that's gonna achieve that. And I know you are not squatting at the gym, bitch. Yeah, she she said, was it last year or the first season? Obviously it's come up multiple times. But she said, uh, she's like, I work out really hard. I work out really hard. That's what's so fucked up about stuff like that, though, is th- these are prime examples of people getting um, impractical body expectations mm-hmm. and blaming themselves for not, you know, getting the ach- yeah. achieving the results that they see on TV. That's like the reason we want people to be honest about it is because the the, the layman that doesn't know that that is a BBL 100 percent is like, oh, I can get there. And it's it's just it's not real. And it's just crazy that you're lying right in our face. Like we yeah. don't like we see it. And it's like, okay, I I could kind of get it back like even six years ago, maybe when I people I feel like still did shame people for modifying their bodies yes. and stuff like that. So I could understand people not really wanting to be open about that because of the stigma attached. But we're in such a time where it's like we like I would say people are like really encouraging, like, okay, but just like tell me your journey, like take me on your journey. Like yeah, if you're gonna yeah. do that, like I'm not gonna be a hater, but you're not gonna lie in my face. Yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna do that. And it is important because there are like the person in like a, maybe a small town that doesn't like th- that's just not, you know, hip to what these people in LA do. They're like, oh my gosh, I just can't get I- I'm not working hard enough. Yeah. And you know who did a I like this post, Portia. Not too long. Maybe. No, actually, it might have been a while ago now. But she posted a picture of herself Mm -hmm. with her fupa. And she was like, this is what a normal body looks like. If you want that, if you want this ass and you don't want to get surgery, it will usually come with with a little bit of a fupa. 
this is what reality looks like. So if you see someone, Larsa, with like a super, super tight, taut tummy and a big old ass like this, it's a BBL. Did you watch the Teen Mom episodes when Jade got the BBL? No, I, I fell off a Teen Mom a long time ago. Oh my God, it makes you never want to get a BBL. Well, I went down a whole rabbit hole of like <laughs> w- watching people get BBLs online, and you did. Oh yes, like especially when they first became popular. Because I was so interested. I would never crazy. get one. No, well, I mean, I, 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 I would not get one. But I think when it first came out, I was interested. I was just like, what is this thing? And so, but like, it's so dangerous. And like, most people obviously go overseas. And but this is the stupid part. Like, people go overseas. And you're not supposed to leave. You're supposed to wait like a few weeks because yeah. it's so dangerous. You know, and some of these people like going straight up on the plane, like right after. I'm like, you're gonna kill yourself. Yeah, so dangerous. Yeah, my sister she, got one. She did. I hope she didn't listen to this. Yes. <laughs> was it was was it a harrowing recovery process? I have no idea. I never talked to her about it. My dad told me about it before he died. <laughs> And like literally randomly, he was just on the phone with me. He was like, your sister got one of those BBLs. Shut up. Was I was it recent? like, uh, it was probably like, I want to say like maybe a year and a half ago. He just called her out. I know. He just like dropped that <laughs> nugget. <laughs> just, I was like, how do you know? And she was like, oh, because I saw the little, she's wearing the thing after the surgery stuff. Yeah. I was like, okay. My sister is like, she's young and she's, she's like, She's like 24 and she's just she's into all of that kind of stuff. Like she looks like those like and she's like she is oh, one of those she Instagram lo- she girls. She looks like that. OK. Oh, she oh, is. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Huge following. Oh, why do I she's, not know this? Pia? I feel like you've like how did you keep this for me this entire time? <laughs> yeah, we used to look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> she makes me feel ugly. <laughs> she used to be like, oh, she used to like be like, I I love looking like you. Does Apparently she not? Have, does she get? <laughs> does she do like lip filler and all that? Yep, the whole nine I'm, yards. I'm really thinking. She just about had a baby going, too. Whoa, yeah. I feel like she ruined her BBL. I don't. I feel like she like when she like she didn't even look like she was pregnant. Oh, one of those. What a yeah. what a blessing. I know what a blessing. Right, those people that you know who's making it look easy. Nicole from. Miami. Yeah. She's like, she's just got a cute little bump in the front. That's it. I love that. I feel like that's not going to be me. I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to look miserable and tired and I'm just going to eat a lot of Taco Bell because I can and no one can say anything to me. (laughs) I don't know. Pia, I actually envision you being like a, like a mom that has it easy. Really? Well, although you do have tough periods. I, but you know what though? I feel like because I have tough periods, I feel like my, I feel like my, Labor will be fine because I'm just so used to being in pain all the time. Oh, no. Labor, I think you'll oh, be okay. fine. I mean, like the pregnancy itself. I feel oh, like that's, yeah. I wonder if that's connected, you know, because some people, yeah. fl- some people just fly on through a pregnancy. Like it's just like Lala. Yeah. Lala she has like good. no complications whatsoever. Lala is also going to be that person that just like has a little bump. Yeah, I mean, remember her her first pregnancy? Like, yeah. that's Ocean was only and because I, I listened to her podcast. I hate listening to it. Well, I, um, I listened to it recently. I listened to the most recent one. I, yeah, I skipped. Too. I skipped through so much. I listened of it, to I was it like, from beginning I was like, to end. Girl. Oh God, torture yourself. I've I probably religiously listened to it since Scandaval. Just because I started there and then my thing just plays it. And then now I'm like, I guess I just listen to it. I, I guess that's what I do now in the car. Ugh. Sorry, Sheena's, I, I have to I, skip. I, I listened to it just because I wanted to hear what she was saying about the episode. And that yeah. Jess girl. I told, didn't I tell you about her? Didn't I no, tell I you mean, about her? She- I already knew she sucked, but like, I thought that, I thought that there were reviews that they were trying to adhere to, or it was like, st- tell Jess to stop kissing Lala's ass. It's really well, weird. And she doesn't stop. You know what they did? They brought, that's when I felt like when it was at the height of the hating on Jess, like people wrote articles because I remember she complained about it once on the podcast Mm -hmm. i think that's when she brought in um her brother easton she's just such a know-it-all that's what it is that it's the it's the righteousness that's the righteousness it's like girl okay let's not we can't do that we can't oh yeah we did that last time nope we did that last time wrong podcast get out of here okay Um, okay 
Miami. Uh, Lisa tries to come to Larsa's defense and be like, I talked to her after that conversation with Gertie and she was, Larsa was really upset. And Gertie, Gertie just comes in so hot because Lisa goes, Larsa was in tears. And Gertie goes, ah, oh, poor Larsa. And Larsa goes, no, you're mean. You're very mean. <laughs> that is so rich coming from Larsa. <laughs> Larsa, you are the meanest person ever. I I was like, does Lisa hear herself when she talks? Like she was like, she was in tears. Like I'm supposed to comfort Larsa for doing the thing. You can't just, she, first of all, she starts off like I told Larsa that wasn't okay, but then she was in tears. Like, yeah, she should be in tears because what she did was not okay. Like I'm not going to comfort her. She should, she should feel bad and stay feeling bad until she does better. And she never does. And also sometimes like you're going to feel bad because you did something wrong. So her being in tears, it's not like she was crying. It's like, yeah, I bet she was. So yeah, like she, I'm. I hope she was because what she did was really bad. <laughs> hope she was crying. She I mean, better have been bad. crying. <laughs> she told every single person on the planet about Gertie's cancer. Like that's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> yes, that's yes. pretty and she, fucking and you're, bad. And, and she specifically said, "Don't tell anyone." And then you lied about that. And continued to double down. It's a lot. And then you want the person that has the cancer that she outed that she didn't want outed to feel bad yes. for you? Yes. And what planet? Gertie, Gertie was not here for Lisa, though. She's like, stand down, soldier. Stand down. Mascot. She was so mad. I lo- Lisa was like, what do I say? I can't say anything to the black woman cancer survivor. I'm like, that's right, Lisa. Just take it. I know she didn't. And she, you could feel her like not wanting to. She wanted to. She was like, yeah, she's like, can't, the, mm, can't do it. <laughs> can't fly here. I've already got in so much trouble as it is. Miami honestly makes me happy. Like, oh, they're yeah. so funny. Oh, yeah. Gertie's like, you were in my face screaming about how she was feeling. And then they flash back. And that's exactly Lisa's like, she was trying to say she's upset. It's like, shut the. F- oh, my God. When are you going to be like, Gertie, are you OK? The woman has shaved her head at that point. <laughs> like, Come on. Right. It's like it'd be one thing if you were going to like do this, if she was going to do this stuff with trying to explain Lars's perspective. But like do that way after first acknowledging Gertie's feelings. <laughs> Yes. Like, she's always acknowledging Lars's feelings first. And it's like, let's take Ugh. care of Gertie first. And then when Gertie's taken care of, possibly I still wouldn't possibly. Yeah. Can you be like, I think I know she's comes off this way, but I think this is what she meant. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she, we can revisit after. Yeah. Maybe. May I still would not. Yeah, exactly. Because Alexia think- then she starts to chime in and she's like she asked Larsa, like, why didn't you pull her to the side to have a conversation one on one? And they cut to Marcus in the back and he's like, Oh, now Alexia speaks up. And then he goes, I wish I could be on that couch so bad. I bet you do. I don't understand him. Like Okay, wait, I, I, I forgot I'm gonna say what I said. Okay, so I I I had I was watching the last dance in the background. Um during the week and I just text Pia I was like you know I didn't watch it the first time with the thought of like Marcus in my head but watching it now he is the greatest of all time Michael Jordan he is truly he's he's not just a good player he's dedicated he is hard working he is like another level yeah he must be so disappointed in Marcus as his son I still I said to this it. day. I don't care. I don't. Yeah. Ca- I'm sorry. There's no way he's not disappointed in his son. Oh, I 100 percent believe. Right? Like, I I feel like this Larsa stuff was just the last thing for him. He was just like, I like, am. And then so you done. date Larsa Pippen, and he's like, and I bet he was like, that's not even an impressive person to date. Like, <laughs> of all I think that's what he's also probably like. Really. <laughs> I, I set you up, son, to be able to date anybody in this fucking world, and you pick oh my a God, second string so wife? True. Like, that's gross. Gross. A Kardashian wannabe? You could have dated a Kard- Kardashian. Yeah, you could have dated a Kardashian, but no. Why? You could have dated Kim. She is, like, if he, he should have really went for it. <laughs> oh, maybe, she'll, oh maybe he'll do that. I was going to say, wait, then they break up, and then he goes for Kim. I think he should do that because I think that that I just would like that is the the only way I would support him. Yeah, I think that'd be great. That would actually be great. Can we make that happen? (laughs) 
I know she's technically unavailable right now, but Kim. That sh- that changes quick. Yeah, that's she that's a season. That's a yeah. Who who is she who is she with now? I haven't paid attention. She's with I I think it's a a football player. I think she went back to football. Oh, okay. Remember when she was in her in her Reggie era? Oh yeah. And then yeah, yeah, Reggie yeah. married someone that looked like Kim. And now they have and he has kids with that woman and their kids look like Kim's kids. It's really odd. Okay. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> this is this is the plan. The next time they break up, I hope that he goes for Kim. Just to be messy. I, I I would love that. That's fun mess. Fun mess, yeah. Andy and, asks then they, Lars... and then they bring it up in Miami and be like, see, now, Larsa, let's give it another example. See how that would make you feel? <laughs> like, you're now Scotty. Does that make sense? Because Kim, and then you were his second. <laughs> and do you see the correlation now? <laughs> Does that make sense to you? <laughs> that's the that's the only like sports an- analysis or oh sports God. equivalent that we can make for Larsa. Remember when you were on Kim's team? Remember yes. that? Not anymore, right? Well, yeah. How do you have to feel? Dance, keeping up with the Kardashians doesn't you know? feel so good, does it? Doesn't no, bitch. Andy asks if Larsa. Andy asks if Larsa thinks that Gertie was using cancer to garner sympathy. And Larsa goes, I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm like, what tone are you about to use? Are you? I would never in a million years think anyone would think that I would take that information and go do something bad with it. What? That's not an answer to the question. And also, what was that sentence? You said what? She absolutely wants to say, yes, I think you weaponized your cancer. Because we, we've we discussed this already. She was losing her fight with Gertie or she was in the fight with Gertie and it was going back and forth. And then Gertie finally is like, I have cancer. And she's like, well, I can't come back to that. So yeah. she was so mad because it was the ultimate like you can like you cannot. There's nothing you can say at that point. The conversation over like and she yes. didn't want the conversation to be over is the thing. And. She's still having that conversation she's, in her head yeah. and she's pissed. And she's like, if Gertie hadn't used that cancer line, I would have won that battle. Like she's yeah. going, she wants to like do it again. Cause she's, yeah. you're right. She's like been living it over and over in her head. Like yeah. I was so close to winning. Fuck yeah, her. She, yeah. She's pissed. <laughs> she, yeah, she, I think she does play that conversation <laughs> over does. and over. She's like, if she hadn't said that, then I would have said this instead. And then I would have been like, boom, I win. I just liked her malfunctioning when she Gertie said it too. She was just like, "How do I get like?" She was yeah. short circuiting for yeah, sure. Yeah, no, she did. She was like, "How was I supposed to know?" <laughs> what? What? She's like, "I wasn't prepared for that answer." God damn it. Oh, um. God. Okay. Then there's like a lot. There's I'm not. I really didn't take huge notes on this because a lot of it was like a fight and then they make up, a fight yeah. and then they make up, and so was, which is solid. We like that. Yeah. Um, Kiki has a man. She's so into her man. I hope we get to meet him next yes. season. Andy goes on that note. Did your family ever take you back to to Kiki? And I was like, wait, how is how is talking about her man and then bringing up the trauma of like her family picking her out as a teenager? <laughs> on that note, did your family ever take you back after kicking you out and telling you to leave? It's like not the best transition, Andy. Jesus Christ. It's like so abrupt. I was like walking around when it happened and I was like, I know I had to rewind it. I'm like, is that what he means? (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Did they ever take you back after abandoning you? No, Mm, that sucks. Yeah, no, listening to that whole story was so sad. God, dude, she is. So she she explains it. So her stepmom was the one who told the she's out of the house, told the siblings not to talk to her. But for for Kiki, oh, Jesus, her dad left her mom, came here, didn't ever break up with her. To this day, has never officially like said it's over. I have a new wife. He just she, her mom was pregnant. She moved in with her aunt when she moved out here, and she was working at Burger King while in high school. But she stayed responsible to her mom the whole time, and then eventually she's moved her mom here in 20, 2012. And she's been taking care of her mom ever since. So Kiki has got a life we need to know all about. Yeah. I mean, I, she is, because like, she, where is she from? Uh, Haiti? Haiti. Haiti, yes. Because like, you know, you don't, my family's from Jamaica. And that is such like, a, like a Caribbean or foreign mm-hmm. person type of situation where you're like, you, like, you kind of have to like, be the person to take care of the parents. You send them and then you, you like, send, like, 
send money to them and then you bring them over when you when you can't uh, can afford it. And I feel like she, like that kind of story. Like I would love to see that on the show. Like I, we've said that she needs her own her own thing. She's so interesting. Yeah. And hearing her, she's like, I live in a two bedroom. I share a bed with my kids. I don't throw birthday parties for my kids because I don't have that opportunity. And she starts to cry. And she's like, I never feel like financially the money I'm saving for my kids. I don't want to throw it away. I mean, Ju and I, uh, Julia, I get this. She's like, Kiki reminds me of when I was younger because they're both immigrant women, single parents. So yeah, we definitely need more of that. Kiki has a Kiki. I think believe she said she has a five year old and an eighteen year old. But I didn't realize she had a five. I think I could have swore she said they turned five. Jeez. Yeah. So Which I think we need to we need to give her a damn mojito. Yes, and I, it, it also baffles me because then we learned um, was it I think in the finale or maybe one of the last two episodes of Miami that um, Lisa's mom is an immigrant she's from jamaica and then they, mm -hmm. they live in canada and she's sh like that's what's so weird to me i wish andy actually had talked about that because like when she was saying the stuff about the dogs and all that stuff it's like how did you like did you did you talk to your mom about that and how like anything did you learn from that like i would have liked that to know that because her i like what was her mom's take on that mm-hmm I'm sh imagine how painful it was for her family to be treated by by Lenny's family so terribly. Yeah. And they're like, this is who you're marrying? This fucking <sighs> family? God. Disrespectful. How do we feel? I I personally wasn't even shocked by this. Larsa gives her daughter $2,500 a month. I just wasn't surprised. I'm actually surprised it's not more. Me too. Is that weird? I'm... I didn't. Just I thought that was like, pretty of course low number. Like, of course, she's going to raise a spoiled kid. You know, but, was, that, was that a week or a month? A month. I okay. I am I delusional, but I I feel like that's really low for for a child in L.A. of that stature, of wealth and opulence. I yeah. It didn't even phase me. I was like, well, what else was she going to do? Like her kid, like they're spoiled, obviously. Yeah. So I wasn't even. Sh I wasn't even surprised. I know. I wasn't I was shocked like, by that. I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, they go on break, but Larsa, Larsa tries to keep it going with Gertie. So they're like, kind of going back and forth. But then Marcus comes out and he just like hugs Larsa and they start like kissing. It's just weird. It's just weird. I, I'm only, the only redemption for him is doing our plan. I joked that I want to try to get Michael Jordan on the pod because I feel like we just will be like, you can tell us, Michael. I know even that would be so great. Even before, even before Larsa and him dating Larsa, you've been disappointed in him, right? Because like, what does he do? What does he do? What does he do? He's an entrepreneur or some shit. Like, sounds are you just like a Ponzi scheme. Are you just constantly embarrassed by him? Like, I need honestly, to, I'm guys, watch up. the watch the last dance if you haven't, because it just. It's a it's a great docu series, but like it really shows like that you really understand who Michael Jordan is and why this matters. <laughs> why it fucking matters. And it's like I know he has an opinion on it. He has to because one he's given it to us. I'll, I'll, although Larson although likes he was to pretend, cooing. yeah, he was okay. just joking. No, Girl. he meant that. He absolutely meant that. He, you think Michael Jordan? Michael, Michael Jordan is a brutally honest person. Like he's, they all, there's all these interviews that he's done that they show even in the docu series. But like he was kind of notorious for being like too honest and a little bit of a bully. Like the people uh -huh. that would play with him, like he was, he does not mince words. No, like that. He <laughs> meant that shit. Uh huh. So he, he definitely. Why would he joke like that? He he. Do you think that the most intentional? basketball player would not would just like just flippantly say that no he meant yeah. that and he was sending a message <laughs> he's like i am tired of being asked this my point blank answer is no <laughs> i don't like it and also i just feel like he won't even like i feel like he's not gonna he wouldn't necessarily go out of his way to do that but if someone's gonna ask him that he is not gonna leave room for interpretation <laughs> that he ever would think that that's something that he would agree with <laughs> Not on his reputation. You're not about to crumble this house. No. <laughs> no. No. Would you like me to 
like no. say in the microphone n- clear no <laughs> no he's so not happy about it like, like no, now I- they have a podcast like his son has a he has to like tell people like they have a podcast I don't want to like okay the more I think about it I, the more it is really okay because like obviously we're doing a podcast right now podcasting is great it is legitimate work but the Lord's work but but my parents Michael, my parents are Michael Jordan <laughs> so it's different. hey Michael what's your your son up? yes because you know, you know that they like check in like parents check in right so like what's Marcus up to he he's got podcast a podcast with, with his um, girlfriend Scotty with Larsa Pippen. Ex-wife? Yeah. What do they talk about? I don't know. Their relationship uh, or something? Possibly having uh, kids. Uh-huh. Um, I don't... That's Next it. question. That's it. So, yep. Sorry. I, I could drag Marcus Jordan all podcast. I do well, also, he's talk. acting like a little bitch. <laughs> That's so why Michael Jordan should come on this. It's like, do you just want to talk shit about your son? Because it's all we want to do, too. You know he you know he's got that friend that he just talks all this shit about his son to. Yes. Who who do you think it is? I think it's why do I forget his name? Oh gosh. He's a Which correspondent. Was one of the players? Yeah, he's a correspondent and he's also known for oh, like um I know who you're talking about. One of the chorus. I know exactly. I know. I, in and my he, head, I can see it. He doesn't can't give a fuck. He just says whatever he wants and yeah. I think it's him. God, yeah. I can't remember his name right now. It's pissing me off. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. Yep. He's got someone he was in Space cons- Jam, too, as he well. He just cons- also in Space Jam. <laughs> oh, my God, the Space Jam, when they set up, with, like, the pickup games and shit. I love I that know. part. I know, I love Space Jam. I refuse to <laughs> I watch. I love Space Jam. I do. I refuse I to watch the new Space Jam. It looks like crap. <laughs> I will never. I refuse to acknowledge it. Okay, uh, Julia and Alexia's friendship, blah, blah, blah. Adriana goes off per usual and says it was a PR stunt, which it kind of felt like that because Alexia did get in a lot of hot water for shit she had said the season before, specifically about Julia. And then it ended up being that, like, then Julia came to the, the last season's reunion and Martina had just been diagnosed with double two cancers. Shit. And so Alexia can't be like the person who's fighting with the lesbian whose <laughs> lesbian wife has two cancers. So I just it did feel like the right move <laughs> from a I PR mean, standpoint. Honestly, I'm not like what else. But what are you going to do at that point? You have to exactly, do that. Exactly. You have to. And it's like it's kind of like what we're wanting Larsa to do, because like, I yes. did, would I believe it? No, but that's but you need to still do it. No, you're so right. That's exactly what we're trying to get Larsa to do. But it's too late. She never yeah. will. Too late Although, to I apologize. Kinda, she kind of does do it at the end. It was out of nowhere and very confusing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she was like, someone told her, like, you have to say it at some point. And she to was say, like, one of the things she's like, I will only do it at the end. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they, do a, they do a segment on Larsa, how she pushes her, pro- her products all the time. And she's like, I offer you gifts if you want my tequila, if you want my Larsa Marie jewelry. I offer those as gifts. Like, even in your answer, you said it. Like, you hawked your products even in you saying you just want to give us gifts. She's hey. shameless. She's shameless. shameless. That's why she her OnlyFans is fanning. Right? I know. You can't. I, the amount of times I think of an OnlyFans, I'm just like, I can't. I mean. The gondola. Oh, go ahead, Pia. No, I was just like, no, I was just going to say, like, yeah, like, it's, I mean, it's a skill set. It's a skill set. You have to be willing to accept a lot of people being like, you're doing what? I know that's the only thing. I don't have that in me. Me neither. I don't, I don't, and I don't even know who I'm scared to answer to. I don't. Even, but I'm still. It's like no. Yeah. And I'm also too lazy. I would be like, "Are we still doing this? Like, who do, what do you want? <laughs> what, who, who? What? Talking to me? The gondola ride from hell. Lisa says she regrets feeding the dogs, but I had just signed the most important document in my life that day. It was like that has literally nothing to do with you feeding the dogs. No, you I need you to say I don't I did not realize how I have these biases about certain people. And that was and that was unconscious and something I got to learn. Nope. Nope. Yeah, because it's like what you said. So what you said had nothing to do with like signing the papers because like you like that's just your belief system. Like you're like, yes, you know what I mean? You thought you were doing a good thing. So I need you to admit that, like, wow, I, I, I'm going to, uh, nope, too bit, too late. Kiki has asked her thoughts on it. And she goes, the thing is, Lisa, I just feel like you look down. 
the whole dog thing, every everyone said stop. You didn't say anything. But the minute I said, Lisa, that was not nice, you felt the need to say, shut the fuck up. Why do you always feel like you can scream at me? Boom. Answer it, Lisa. Answer it. Why? Boom. Why, bitch? Because it's true. That's exactly what happened. And then also the whole thing, like the salt thing, because she threw the like it was just she was just escalating at Lisa, like the yeah. the way that she was her word choice. Yeah, you assaulted me. Ooh, take it back. Kiki says she acts very entitled and like she doesn't remember where she comes from. Boom. We all agree with that because finding out that her mom was from Jamaica, we were like, oh, I was so shocked. I was like, no way. Like, <laughs> like, I, did we hear that right? No way. I was like, that's like, no. I was so incredibly shocked. Yes. Kiki says that she talks down to her and you treat me like I don't fucking belong. And you're going to you're going to respect me. I love when she said that. Mm -hmm. Gertie is really inserting herself into this, but I do love it because it is important for Kiki to feel like she has support. And also mm -hmm. Gertie's the other black woman in the group. And she's right. like, you're not in this by yourself. Don't worry. Gertie brings up Lisa going, oh, she's going to fight. Oh, she's going to fight me. Oh, she's going to fight me like over and over again. And how, all the joking she was doing even after they'd made up. Lisa's like, well, that's my sense of humor. I'm quirky. I hate when people identify themselves. as like, I'm quirky. I'm such a dork. I hate when women do that. Especially like it's always like hot influencery women that do that. I uh, Yeah. If you have to tell me you're a quirky, you most yes. definitely are not. Quirky. Don't, I don't like when people describe themselves as such. Other people can say she's quirky. Right. But yeah, not, that's, I'm quirky. That's that's not something I don't like people defining themselves as quirky. Yeah, it's no. Uh, it's, that means you're performative quirky. Yes. If that, I don't think I've seen her and you're be not quirky. Quirky. even performative you're quirky. You're really not quirky. Like that's so not accurate. Like you do you not just, have a sense of self. She just like came up with that in the moment. Yes. I I'm I was literally trying to go through the season like to find one moment of quirkiness and it the only none none yes. could come to mind. Yes. Tone Andy, deaf. Tone, tone deaf. deaf. Tone deaf. Accurate. Andy, thank God, he goes, it's a microaggression. Okay. I'm like, oh, good. Look at you learning. Learning, listening and learning. He's like, yeah, for you to call her like, oh, she's going to fight me. It's a microaggression. Yeah. Did you yeah. get that, Lisa? Jesus. God, I feel like there's just been so much, so much, like each, each franchise is having their Dorit. And it's <laughs> it's did too much see, for me. Did you see Trishel on? Watch I was going to bring Live? that up. I was I was I almost did when I was trying to wait for Beverly Hills. But yeah, I Trishel just say because like Lisa could also. So Trishel, I didn't like a lot of what Trishel had to say. But finding out that she is going to be going to I didn't even know they had these an unconscious biased coach or something to like yeah. educate herself. And she suggested Dorit do the same, <laughs> but she wasn't even doing it from a shady place. No, I know it was so genuine. I was, I was actually shook, shook, shook. Because I hate Trishel. I hate. Yeah, her. Always hated Trishel. I hated her, her makeup. Vegas. I hated everything about everything about everything on that, except for when she said that part. And I was like, yeah. Well, because like I know because you watch. I know we both are MTV heads. Like we yeah. watched the. The real world, the challenge, all of them. Yep. So we're it. very familiar with Trishel, and mm -hmm. she's always been like microaggressive, always with Anissa, with Coral on yes. the season. Um, like she just always has been. So when she was, I peeped it immediately on Traders. I was like, she's doing it. She's she doesn't even know she's doing it. Every time she keeps like targeting the black people, even though I know Phaedra did end up being a traitor. Spoiler, uh, but like, it's just her her the content of why she thought it was like not there and it was annoying to me yep she kept on talking about this book of yep. filled with nothing yep so i feel like lisa dorit and trichelle should all go to the same coach yeah but i yeah but i was so shocked that she actually was like took the feedback and was like i think i do like i was like she, she, what shocked genuinely shocked but this is what we want from People like Elisa, like yes. a Dorit. It's like, yeah, see, like clearly. And it's it. the other thing, too, is it would really free you up from scrutiny if you could say, shit, I guess I do have some unconscious biases. 
because yeah. then people would go, yeah, you don't realize you do, but you do. And then if you want to go fix it, cool. But instead, the denial of it yes. and the this is what I meant of it. Yes. That, that's what ruins it. Right. I just don't I don't I, I just I don't think I've ever heard anybody actually genuinely without being canceled like Stasi did it, but she was forced into it. Right. Yeah. And then that and then her interview yeah. when she came back was a from top to bottom, one of the worst hot mess. <laughs> the worst gone back hot. interviews ever. It actually made things worse. Yeah. Hot mess. Yeah. Hot her mess makeup. Express. Her makeup was horrible. Her hair was horrible. And she was not ready. She was not ready. <laughs> She was saying everything wrong. She's like, now I know. I understand. I was like, no, <laughs> no. it's been one week. You couldn't have. Just say I'm learning still. It was so bad. It was so, so bad. So bad. Train wreck. I should have rewatched that. I should too, I've, actually. Let's rewatch it. Yeah, because I've <laughs> lately been it. missing her. And I'm like, I need to remind myself <laughs> yes. of the I went on a campaign when that happened. She she has learned to shut up. So she just yeah. stays out of it. She's like, no, I'm not doing that show because yeah. I know I, I can't. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. And she does she's have a smart, podcast. And she's smart. And, well, she's behind. It's behind a paywall, though. Oh, is so, it only? I thought she still had a regular feed. Is it only behind? Is it only Patreon? I thought it was only by, behind a paywall. Hmm. Cause I th- you might be right. I never. I won't. I never listen. I never. I, listen. Listen. I don't listen to any podcast. I only. I only have like my handfuls that I listen to because yeah. I. I only like to listen to I, like I would. I would listen to it if she had a good guest on or something like if it was related to. Yeah. Research. Hmm. But she's. The, I'm. The the season is making me want her back because I just know that Stasi would just end everything that's happening in this season with with the first episode. Yeah, because Sheena is somehow. Wait, stop! I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm I know. I I, I was I, about I, to. I, I was about I, to. I was like, no, we'll no. we'll have that conversation offline because I think yes. we need, we're due for that. Sorry, yeah. guys, you don't get to yeah. hear this. Get, this is <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, this is this is okay. Anyway, Andy asks Lisa about saying, "I can't fix your childhood traumas." And Lisa goes, my delivery was terrible. And he goes, your delivery or the statement? I was like, okay, Andy's not here for it. Andy loves Kiki. You can tell he really likes Kiki. Yeah, I I love what like I love yes. when Andy likes the right people. I hate when he yes. likes the wrong people. I hate when he likes the wrong people. And I love when he exactly. Yes, yeah. that that to a T. Lisa's like, I just didn't know those things about her. Just like you don't know things about me bad things, crazy things that would blow your mind. And I'm like, okay, yes, I would like you to go further into that then. Yeah, and it, please, it can't have to do with the money or the divorce. I mean, I think she meant her childhood. Okay, great. Because So I, get, uh, let's do it. Okay. Andy asks, like, how he always does this, right? Like, so how do we move forward? He asks, that's like always the prompt question. Yeah. Kiki is, of course, with her big old heart. She's like, I may not be, we may, might not be perfect, but I'm I'm here for you, Lisa. Ugh. My girl, you're the we best. We love a Kiki. God. And Andy goes, and Lisa, you will also apologize for being insensitive to her background and culture. Like he had to prompt her. She was just because Lisa just like took in the thank or the the. It was kind of an apology from Kiki. She just like took it in and yeah. was like, "Thank you." And Andy's like, "All right, let me help you here because if you don't do this, it's going to be a problem." Yeah. And then she's like, oh, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I would love to get to know you better. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> she's she's like, absolutely. Okay. And he's like, okay, all right, we're moving on. I can't, like, I can't help this woman. I mean, I, again, I think Lenny is a, a terrible person, but just the way that she communicates and does not really listen to people, I could see why a marriage would uh, disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I didn't see you go in that direction for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why that was so savage. Uh, <laughs> why would disintegrate? That was so that was so savage. Uh, okay, during the farewells, that's where Larsa whispers 
she's like, Alexia should apologize for calling us all liars. And it turns into <laughs> like a whole thing where it goes back and forth. And Nicole goes, this is the farewell, guys. We're trying to fucking end this. I that's shit. I started cackling when uh, when she <laughs> said that too because it's like it's so Miami to like ramp up all over again. Like Annie's clearly trying to end it. She can try to land the plane, and they're like, and another thing. <laughs> He's like, kill me. <laughs> Somehow, though, Larsa ends up saying, I need to give Gertie a hug. And she's like, oh, oh, okay. And then they hug and it's just crazy. But then it ends with a performance. So it starts with the it starts with the the opera guy, like the real opera guy that's saying yeah. Julia and he starts. Then he goes over and Julia gets up and she's singing. But it sounds amazing. Like when she's singing, I'm like, well, why does it sound good now? Then it becomes this fucking house remix of Ave Maria where they're all dancing. It was so unhinged, but so incredible. Wait, wait, did you peep, did you peep um, Adriana's face? Like she was like, they didn't ask me to sing. Like I'm clearly the singer. <laughs> I could feel point. her like when she was looking, she was like, okay, all right. Well, I could, I could have gotten, um, what's his name? That's her producer. Oh yeah. Um, Iglesias. Uh, yeah, he's like, I could have called, made a call. <laughs> She's like, but that's cool. Yeah, they can do it. They can do because they're such singers. And Marisol was just like, what is happening? <laughs> like, kept, she was Speaking the last to stand. Up, she was pissed. She was so pissed at Alexia. Sorry, I keep having to t- return my volume up. I got to figure out what's wrong with my audacity. Um, she kept, she was mad at Alexia because when Alexia was going around saying who's a liar and who's not. Oh, yes. She was like, Marisol, she says something. She forgets. That's what she said. She yes. forgets. And Marisol was like, how could you? That was fucked up. That was really fucked up. She was mad. Alexia's like, I'm sorry. Maybe you don't remember. <laughs> Alexia wasn't <laughs> even sorry. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. I'm sorry. I actually appreciate that, though, because that's like, you know, I'm, where we're about to go into Beverly Hills. Like, they'll just blindly just act like we're stupid and like make excuses for their BFFs or whoever they're aligned with that season. And I like that the Miami people, you just never know. And I, I love it. I love Cause, it. Like, they really can fight and make up because they are actually friends. Yeah. And, Cause, and they've, th- this is something you can't fake. They've been friends this whole time. Like when they filmed the show, the original time, and then this whole time until the reboot. So they've been friends. Right. And you can't fake that, you know? So now on Beverly Hills, all these, like, manufactured friendships are only a result of the show, so. Right. If they I honest- fight, they're like, sorry, you know what I mean? It's all alliances. I, I truly think that the Bravo producers should, across the Real Housewives franchise, really sit down and rebrand each franchise and try to go back to basics. work Because all of them started mm-hmm. out with real groups of friends. All of them. And that's when they were in their prime. Like, mm-hmm. they're, like we were loving it. And I think we need to go back to that. Like, you know, we bought Portia back at Atlanta. Like, let's bring all of, like, the people who were, were, were like, really friends. Nini, all of them. Like, bring them back. Like, I'm tired of these, like, I'm tired of watching women not really want to be in a room together. I mean, Nini was a really rough example to give because that's, like, know, that's a little different. I know that I don't that's know never if we, gonna I was going to I thought you were going to say like we could like with Beverly Hills I would even be down to do a complete reboot like n- like com- brand brand new mm-hmm. oh shit savage yeah I'm actually I like I wasn't impressed with any of them at all not Sutton not Garcelle I was not impressed with any of them and we know how I feel about the other side of the couch yeah, I mean, I'm not... They I'm can't not, carry the show by themselves, These those two. I'm not mad at that. I just, I guess I'm like, I don't know if I have, like, the energy to, like... We did it with Brony, and I'm like, it was. I guess it was okay. I don't know. Yeah, I just think that it's run its... I think that this cast, like, Kyle, bye, you gotta go. I don't want to see Erica again. I don't just want to no. see any... I don't need to see any of these stories in this housewife capacity anymore. I agree. I would be... I would actually... Abs- absolutely be open to that that's how i even feel about vanderpump rules too i'm getting to that point i mean just cancel vanderpump like they don't they don't recast vanderpump well i mean or like we don't like go back to the restaurant that's really what the whole show was about like there are people that work there that restaurant is functioning the only reason i'm gonna argue with that is because we can't make that type of magic anymore true 
Like look at what they look at what they try to do with Southern Hospitality. I I for the record, I have tried to watch that show. I mm-hmm. even tried to watch that finale because that ch- chick went all crazy and everyone was talking about it. I just I don't want I don't like any of the cast. Yeah, like the people. I'm like I. I was starting to get like that feeling that we sometimes get when you watch a show, you get frustrated because yeah. like that's kind of the weird feeling that you get all the time when you watch a reality show. Yeah. But I was like, I don't want to be dealing with these people. I don't like mm-hmm. any of them because yeah. they all got, they got manufactured to do the show together and know exactly how much fame they can get from the shows now. That's the rough part about it. Like I feel, I feel, oh, I feel like we're in that era where it's like really hard to have, a reality show like like the one the, like mm-hmm. ones on Bravo because you get so famous so quickly and it mm-hmm. just it ruins it a little bit. Yeah, like I don't like no one's gonna be just casually working at Sir and being like, yeah, I just want to like talk about my friends and be here with my friends. Like, no, they're yeah. coming on to be famous. Which so did the Vanderpump cast, but this was that was back then. It's like a magic we can't recreate. And you didn't get brand deals. Like, like they didn't, they yes. just in the middle, like probably yes. wouldn't be, I wouldn't say until like season five or six where they uh-huh. started to be able to like legitimately not have to work there. Exactly. And in this case, you do one season, you're already like an influencer. Yeah, because then you can go on Traders, you can go on exactly. Special Forces, The Masked Singer. Like, you just have so much more opportunity just if you do one really good season of a reality show. Yeah, like the only the only like networks that could do like a show about people working in a restaurant and have it become someone authentic would be like TLC. Yeah, because it wouldn't be glamorous at all. It'd exactly, be like, it would be like what what's that show where like uh, what's his name goes to to the restaurants and like yells at bar them? rescue. Yeah, yeah, like so. I just I don't I think it's like we have to recreate the concept of it. Yeah, because. I don't know. I, I, it's also pretty clear they're going to try to make the Valley the new Vanderpump because you're going to see Sheena, Lala, Schwartz on the Valley. You, you think that they're trying to transition them over there? I, it feels like it. It feels like that's like... I I honestly think that they should just do that because it's what, what they were originally going to do until the whole... I want to get rid of... I'm done with Lisa. I don't want Lisa's influence on anything anymore. It's It's annoying. It doesn't make any sense. It's intrusive. She's outdated. She, she makes no sense. She makes no sense. And it's like they're all she's so clearly producing from a producer angle, not from like yeah. a genuine connection. So these scenes like just keep pulling me out. Yeah. Like I'm like, let them interact naturally. Stop having these scenes where they check in with Lisa and let Lisa like brainwash them further. I know. It's so weird. It's annoying. It's very. <laughs> When I started podcasting, the last thing I thought I would be putting to use was the Shopify knowledge I gathered when I was trying to be a drop shipper. But Shopify is your no excuses business partner. You can sell without needing to code or design, and you can still show up exactly how you want to. You can customize your online store. There's all these flexible, gorgeous templates a lot of powerful tools all built in. This program actually whips up content for you, like blog posts, product descriptions, that's huge. You can generate instant, frequently asked question answers, pick the perfect email send time. Plus, it's free Shopify magic for every Shopify seller. It also makes marketing simple. Shopify removes the guesswork with built-in tools that help you create execute and analyze your online marketing campaigns. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. With our merch store for She Speaks Bravo, we were able to make it look exactly the way I wanted it to look. I didn't want it to look like your typical merch store. So we were able to customize the colors, play with the template. And Shopify kind of prompts you for all the things you didn't even think of. You know, you're like, oh yeah, discount code to sign up for emails, something like that. And Shopify has the best customer service. When I was trying to set up my online store a couple years ago, I asked them seemingly stupid questions. They were so nice. They were always very helpful. And that's vital when you're not, when you're overwhelmed, you know? And I don't know if you realize, but Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklinen, millions of other entrepreneurs of every size from across 175 countries. 
Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash she speaks, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash she speaks now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash she speaks. Um, okay, let's do BH. I just love this whole setup so much it's can you nice. see penny at all barely she looks like the comforter <laughs> i know right she looks just like the little and she's being so cute she's like giving herself a little bath Aww. i wish she could see it i can see it kind of oh you can see it kind of oh she just meowed oh <laughs> look at her little head i swear i could just watch animals sleep do nothing for hours i know pen is sleeping right now he's so cute i mean they're the cutest he looks so precious. Oh, I know. They're such little angels. I wish I could show you. But if I move, he'll get up. <laughs> I know. Animals animals sleeping. There's nothing more peaceful. Okay. Beverly Hills. Kyle and Sutton go through their stuff a little more, and they like hug it out. So I'm like, okay, I don't care about this. Yeah. Okay. So then Kathy comes out. They play the package, the Kathy package. They talk about how people are afraid of Kathy. Then Sutton, literally, it's almost like, do you think people are afraid of, of you, Kathy? And then Sutton goes, oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> I feel bad because I definitely laugh because it was one of those, like, <laughs> she just looks like a cartoon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you think it was real? Look, I think she had anxiety, uh, but they did, you know, I don't, I am not touching this one with a 10 foot pole. She had a medical emergency. People are going to be very upset if I don't acknowledge that and talk about how scary that was. Because I actually I think it was real. Because I, I think it was a panic attack. I do too. I honestly think it was real. And that actually was interesting because I was like, I finally saw what really Kathy can do to a person. Yeah. Like I she thought it was. was I thought she was having anxiety and like it was getting worse and worse and worse. And then like Kathy came out and it just got worse and worse. And I know that anxiety, like people were saying that blood pressure doesn't raise that high if you have an anxiety attack. But like oh. people pass out from anxiety attacks. People go to the hospital for panic attack. Like I just it felt very connected. She also said she was getting vertigo, oh, which I could shit. see because they were watching her like she was having a hard time like seeing where she was yeah, going. Yeah, she looked like, I because at first, I before watching it and kept seeing the teaser of it, I was like, is this real? And then when I saw, I saw the moment before it happened, like sh like her eyes looked a little like glazed. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh shit. She hasn't told us exactly what happened. I don't think, I think she got to the ER and they probably did like, ran a check of her vitals and they're like, you're fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She, maybe and she it was wasn't... nighttime, too. They had been yes. there all day. So she so could have like, also she just needed to be enough. hydrated. Yep, yep. All that stuff under all the lights and yeah. things. Um, she was shaking. It was all that. Um, but Kathy, as they take Sutton out of there, was like, I was going after her next. Yeah, but I wanted to I wanted to know, like, why, I'm though. like, can we get into... Well, it's because I'm just confused. Why does no one remember what Sutton said in the season? Well, I, I know what she said, but it, like, I felt like, like Kyle made her say that though. I felt like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, wouldn't you think she, you think she's going to care about that. It's Kathy Hilton. That's true. Like, that's she, true. As soon as Sutton started saying it, I was like, ooh. It's good. And also even Sutton saying in her confession, like the way she was doing shit with Kat, with Kyle was going to piss off. Like, you already lost one sister. Do you want right. to lose another? Yeah. Uh, no, like I remembered all that. Like, yes. Yes. I. I w yes, <laughs> yeah, it does make sense. It does make sense. Yeah, because she's like Kathy's pretty savage, and like if if Kathy's calling you to talk shit to you about what you did, that better go to the fucking grave. But then when Sutton's like, I'll tell you what Kathy said, and then she tells the story, is like, oh, she's gonna kill her. Yeah, I feel like Kathy so is the type of person like I don't. You're right. Like, yes, Kyle pushed her to say it, but Kathy is not gonna care. She's gonna be like, die on that sword. Yeah, you just say, well, well, I, I'll talk about it offline. You just don't. Yeah. Kathy expects you to be able to go through, like, <laughs> interrogation. Yes, that is actually a great way to put it. So, her, like, does it matter <laughs> what, what Kyle was doing to you? You <laughs> needed to sh keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Yeah, so. And that I mean, was the ultimate a, this betrayal. Is a, this is not a good thing by any means, but, like, that's, Kathy's definitely like, hmm. 
Okay. Like she expects like a C- the CIA should be able to interrogate you and you should be able to get through it. But what's interesting to me is obviously they do it in a flashback and show Erica doing calling Kathy out at the reunion. And Kathy seems to just be so OK with Erica doing that. Why? Right. Also, it's so funny to think. So. Back to um, the Erica Kathy stuff, they play the clip from last season of Erica saying you called the DJ a fucking F word to hear that on the Peacock version, not censored was yeah. crazy. I don't yeah. think I've heard that word uncensored, the F word uncensored ever in my life on television. So that was crazy to see. Yeah. Like truly nuts. Um, that made me think she did say it. And she was just like, I will not be mad at you, Erica, if you never bring it up again. <laughs> like, because I was like, that's the only because like you're mad at Sutton for like saying that, but you're not like still giving that energy. You, I don't know. I still don't understand exactly why Kathy was there. Yeah. And she was there. To, like, usually they bring them out and then they go away. She was there until the rest. Like she was on the whole season. Yeah. And it was just, weird. And she And she wasn't at all. <laughs> she was just sitting next to to Kyle. So it was like. I don't know whose idea it was. It was sweet because clearly she was like, I want to either be there for Kyle or Kyle asked if she would be there for her or something. So it was nice to have Kathy there yeah. next to Kyle, especially too, because Kathy doesn't actually really know Kyle as well as she would, you know, you would think. So yeah. she would throw things out there like, I think the last three years you guys have not been good. And Kyle would be like, that's not accurate. <laughs> that's not accurate at all. It was funny whenever Kyle would have to like low key correct, correct her. her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I did, that was, this was cute too. Kathy's like, we don't fight a lot, Kyle. How like, and she and she holds up her fingers behind her hand. She's like, how many big fights like that have we gotten into and Kat, Kyle thinks about it she's like maybe three and then she holds it she's like what What did I say three it's like yes but you didn't talk for years Kathy like you may not have yelled and screamed before but you didn't talk to her for so many years so that kind of counts as like 70 I why did I'm like I guess I just have no faith in people and I was like Kathy absolutely hasn't had talking points with Kyle before they came out and I feel like she's she was like, like what's the I'm number pre- we went over <laughs> yes I I swear to God she was like we gotta like let them know that it's not as big of a deal so let's just say, let's just I'm gonna at some point I'm gonna be like and then you're gonna say three like okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm holding up my fingers I'm not gonna say how many and it's gonna be three okay I swear to God that's what I media was like rehearse staged <laughs> <laughs> Andy brings up Mauricio start I was surprised he said all this he's like so Mauricio starting the agency caused a huge issue with you and Rick and Ka- and Kathy's like yes um he when he left he left on a Thursday or he called on a Thursday and left on a Friday and Rick said the door is always open for you just don't poach on my staff or agents Kyle shuts this shit down and I know why she shut it down it's going to be on his fucking show it's that's why because there's been a I I was about to post but I forgot and was like I forget it there's a clip like a preview from buying Beverly Hills there's no crazy like tea in it or anything it's just between uh, Kyle and Mauricio they're just sitting talking on the bed and it's more content that we got throughout the entire season of Beverly Hills. And it kind of pisses me off. So I'm like, well, then why did Mauricio agree to do like, why did you like do this? So you're not going to give us any of your family stuff because that's what he's doing on his show. That's like, that's crazy. That's an insult to us. We've been here the whole time. That's how Rick felt. He (laughs) poked (laughs) Mauricio. We... Rick Hilton, we see you. We see you. We see you now, We see each other. We see each other because we've been bamboozled. It's like Mauricio just stays poaching. Like he stays poaching. Like he wouldn't have any conversation on camera for this. And there he is just all hamming it up for his show. Yes. Like I'm irritated. Yeah. It's it's I mean, uh, Andy needs to send a cease and desist. 
<laughs> like Andy and Andy actually on his own on his own on his radio show, he said that he's not mad at all about it. Not mad at all. Mm, that's because he's I'm about like, to take it out on her contract next year. I was like, are they cutting you in for part of the proceeds on this or something like buying Beverly Hills? Are you like a partial investor? I don't know. I don't know. Because like, I need to watch the credits sh- or something. You should be mad, to yes. be honest. That should piss you off. You've had her on the show for 13 seasons and she intentionally leaves all this up. And then in the reunion here, like she's still not telling us shit. Yeah, it's not. And this show's not even on your network. It's on Netflix. Like, it's not like you're not getting any of that. Allegedly. Sutton ends up going to hospital (sighs) and Andy grabs their purses and Merce's ashes. He's like, and Merce is here. (laughs) Why are you saying that? I was like, like, was she going to spread them on the stage? Yes. Why is she like that? Now this bit is too too much. We don't need to do. I'm happy. She's lucky she didn't get a chance to bring those things out. Oh, yeah. It would have been a backlash. Like, now you're just like, now you're just using it. You can't just like bring like people's human remains everywhere you go. (laughs) What? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) I feel like that's that's a legal thing, though. Like, I don't know if you can. (laughs) <laughs> that's amazing she gets arrested <laughs> they get into the process of of how kyle and kathy came back together kathy starts crying talking about how when kyle saw her in the salon she's like that's my sister kathy nothing fascinates me more than when kathy hilton cries Yes, <laughs> it's like her whatever work she's had done doesn't allow her to make like a normal cry face Mm -hmm. and then she ends up like kind of having to (laughs) like her whole entire body has to go but she physically can't make a normal cry face jesus sorry i'm I'm specifically thinking when uh paris brings in that baby that surprise baby on her show yes (laughs) i need to watch that scene again i forgot that i have that whenever i want it (laughs) that's so funny to me Uh, Kyle did warn Kathy about the things that were said during the season. So Kathy's like, no, no, we were cool. She warned me. Um, And she says, I feel this was actually kind of sweet. She goes, I feel now that Kyle loves me and I need to feel. And then Kyle fills in like I need you. And Kathy just goes, I want to be needed. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why that's that shocked me. It seems like Kathy kind of like doesn't want to be bothered. But quite the opposite. You know, I, I would I would initially think that. But then when she was on the show last year, I felt like it seemed like it. I was shocked because it felt like the opposite. It seems like Kathy's one of those kooky people that just like pops up on you and like calls you in the middle of the night. And she likes to chat and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I feel like Kyle was like, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, so yeah. I feel like Kyle's like, I don't want to be bothered. And Kathy's like. Kathy's what always going to call and have a little chat. Totally. She's the friend that's going to call you and you're like, oh, this is going to be 50 minutes at yeah, least. Yeah, that's me. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I, that is me. I do that. And I just discovered uh, FaceTime voicemails after because I uh, got a new phone and it upgraded it for me. Uh-huh. And um, when my friends decline me, rude, uh, I then leave chaotic <laughs> FaceTime videos for them. So. <laughs> That's what they get. Yeah, Emily would get them, but she says she doesn't like FaceTimes. <laughs> a, a cold FaceTime call is is like an act of aggression. Yeah, she hates it. <laughs> I'm like, how dare you? So Who I just have to leave this? her a million voice me memos. Voice notes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me again. There's uh, this just, awesome just thoughts. <laughs> I love this TikTok creator, Brett Newsom, and he just does like unhinged content. I love him so much. And he has the one that I'll send it to you. And it's like, you know, like when I call my friends and they don't answer because they like don't feel like talking, I don't care. You fucking pick up. <laughs> Okay, I don't care. I don't. I don't care. You just answer the phone. You don't even need to talk. I'm gonna talk. You don't even need to say anything. I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs> I don't need you to talk back. Yeah. I'm just gonna talk at you for about 50 minutes. <laughs> 
it's just me just I need all of my ADD thoughts out. <laughs> and, then and then we're done. Bye. We're done. Then bye. Andy segues to the Mauricio package and I'm like, why do you need to make her watch this? They're like, you're going to sit here and watch as we go through the joyous times of your marriage and the worst times. Of I know. It's kind of like, sad, though. We don't really need to make her watch this. My God. Like, <laughs> oh my we God. like you can play it for us, the audience. Like, you can pipe it in, but she doesn't need to sit there and watch it live. Especially like, can... when she's, like, still actively going through yes! it. So, like, they're not sure if they're going to stay together. Like, we don't know what knows anything yes. right now. So, it's kind of like, it was like shock therapy, I felt like Andy was doing <laughs> to yes. her. So fucked up. Andy asks if there was an event that stands out. And you see Kyle mentioned an event on camera in her fucking confessional. So this was the chance to inform us further on to what said event was. But she doesn't. She just gives us some word salad. (laughs) And she's like, some of the issues they've had, they never went away. And then something happened where I did lose my trust. Andy goes, something that he did Kyle, (laughs) you know, I care about my family first and I tried, I tried, I did try. And then when I couldn't, it just became more apparent to me. And I guess I couldn't do that anymore. And I finally had a breaking point, but I really thought it would come back. What? So we're not going to get any answer. No. Well, then what the hell are we doing here? Yeah. And I mean, I... I know I've seen some people online being like, well, she does she doesn't owe us anything. I just strongly disagree with that just because it's like the whole point of the show is to show your life. So I don't know. It's not fair that she has demanded open and be uh, have to be open and honest. Yeah. To everybody. Yeah. We'll keep going because she says some more shit that really pisses me off. Andy brings up the rumors of infidelity throughout the years. And I I was impressed that Kyle did admit that, yeah, those actually made me feel insecure because I'm like, well, I would have liked it if you had talked about that before. That would have been like a a nice, honest understanding of what's going on because you've never mentioned it before. Yeah. No, she she was always really defensive, actually. Like that would like she would always shut it down. Yeah. So it's like, so, okay, we could have gotten the content like that. We could have heard some real honesty from you. Like these rumors do get on, like they bother me and they make it hard for me. Instead, you stage all these happy scenes where there's nothing wrong. And like, also, I I think my frustration with Kyle is like, she doesn't really stay on one side of the fence or the other. She's just straddling it. So she'll like tease Mm. us with like, something's going on with me and Mauricio, but then then shut it down cold turkey. Like, and then she'll, tease us with the Morgan stuff and then shut it down like it's like either don't talk about it or do stop playing with me (laughs) yes yes that's what it is it's like oh she's gonna tell us oh never mind she's not she's gonna act like we're being fucked up for even asking yeah like the story of the dms how she said in ojai the dms she instead she doesn't like fully say it uh but she said At first, years ago, he didn't even know what DMs were. So she would go through them and delete and block people. (laughs) Then he learned about them. And she would ask why he was following different people. And would say, like, it's sending the wrong message. And she's like, if it bothers me, just stop. But he wouldn't stop. Yeah, like, yeah, but why? Why not stop? Like, why do you need to follow this person? Why wouldn't he stop? Exactly. That's weird. And I would have loved a chance to drag him for that shit but you kept it all off the show i wish they had invited mauricio to- oh yeah he's he's like i'm not showing up i know he definitely would not yeah I, although he uh, he probably couldn't have because of his show and like a conflict or whatever the hell just garbage just garbage i am obsessed with my cats i would do anything for my cats i never thought though that I would get used to the litter situation. Because when Pretty Litter came along and sponsored the pod, I was like, how good can litter be? It's litter. It ain't pretty. But ironically, it lives up to the name. It should even be called magic litter, if I'm honest. It's not litter. It's 
crystals. They figured out a way, science, I tell you, they figured a way to make these crystals that absorb all the liquid. And those crystals will change colors and react to your cat's urine that could indicate potential signs of illness. So then you're like, should I take my cat to the vet? Looks like there's a potential sign of illness. That's amazing. But here's the part that I just don't get. It's so lightweight. Pretty Litter is light as a feather. There's no dust. The dust, I was using clumping litter before. The dust was so gross and it was just so heavy and awful. None of that. And Pretty Litter just absorbs odor, absorbs it right up. I used to dread going to change the litter. I would have to close my nose. I would have to breathe through my mouth until I was done. It was such a hassle because it was so heavy. None of that. Pretty Litter, it's light. It's easy. I, I really think it has changed everything in this household. I tell you. And it ships right to your door. In one six pound bag, just one little bag, it's for a whole month. And then you just change the whole thing a month later. It's mind blowing. It's completely different than what you, your traditional litter would have you do. So I count on Pretty Litter to keep my house smelling fresh and clean. You can too. Go to prettylitter.com slash she speaks to save 20% on your first order. That's prettylitter.com slash she speaks to save 20% on your first order. Prettylitter.com slash she speaks. Terms and conditions apply. See site for details. Okay, for Dancing with the Stars, Kathy goes, yeah, that's when I knew there was something definitely happening because Kyle would never let him do that. <laughs> I, I mean, Kathy is a really good friend of because she just gives us like a little bit of those 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 things that we need. That's what we were missing this season. Those insider things. Yeah. yeah. Andy, I mean, and also like it's embarrassing. Like he looks ridiculous. That's Andy kind of wanted to say that. Like he yeah. looks rid- he's like it was very out of character for him. In other words, he looked ridiculous. This yeah. He's- big old teeth. It was weird. Like, that whole thing was weird. It was embarrassing. And then Andy asked, like, how did you feel seeing Mo and Emma holding hands? She's like, but did not feel good. And then, like, what about him? What about him partying it up in Aspen with women? She's like, not great either. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, also, we still live together. So it's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, okay, you can't. I know that you've never come. Well, we'll get to the let's get to the Morgan stuff, actually. Uh Uh-huh. Let's. Oh wait. First, the first, the part. This to me waged a war. Andy. Andy reads a viewer question. Kyle is dancing around the reason for her split. What's the real reason, and why won't she just spit it out? And Kyle goes, "Because it's nobody's fucking business." I. I'm like, oh, it's on, bitch. <laughs> Waging it's war. It's nobody's <laughs> fucking business. Are you kidding? I feel like Denise Richards try to say that a lot. Yep. In her season, and y'all did not give a fuck. So please. Also, then Andy's like, what about you saying to Mauricio, don't kiss me like that when he like stopped her to kiss her? And this is creepy. She's like, well, at that point we were having problems and he was trying to pretend like we weren't having problems. So I couldn't, I was like, and that grosses me out. Yeah. That is like, ew, you know, like you've probably just been fighting earlier that day and then you're like on camera, like, hey, give me a kiss. Ew. Yeah. So you're nasty. You've been nasty. That's a nasty. You've been man. nasty. We didn't know. But now we know. Oh, God, I still have PTSD from what we did last year. I know. Don't even talk about it. We can't talk about it. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know either. I should delete oh. it. I should go back in and <laughs> remove the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I haven't thought of that before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never I, happened. Gonna, I am deleting that episode from YouTube. <laughs> I might delete it from podcast. You know who's the. <laughs> yeah, it just cuts out. You know, clip, nothing. Clip, uh, clip, clip. Um. All right. So the Morgan of it all. Blah, blah, blah. Who knew that? Who thought they were dating? Crystal's the only one willing to stick up for it and say, I did. They get on, they ask about the music video. Her, her answer is not, it's crazy how off it is. Yeah. She's like, you know, and all the rumors started to come out and stuff. I was like, oh no, we wouldn't have done the music video, but we'd already filmed it. Then they cut to a freaking interview of them being like, well, let's give them something to talk about. Yeah. I, 
I I gotta say, Kyle, your timeline on this music video has been all over the fucking place. All over the place. All I can't over. keep up because I was like, you just did it because it. I thought she also. I could have swore at some point she said she like was did the creative for it. So like I thought Kyle was in on like the decision making of like making it this love story thing. And then all of a sudden, oh, they, I mean, they asked me to do it. And I was, what? Like, I swear to God, you were like the creative director for this at one point. Yeah, no. And now she just showed up one day. Yeah, like she was just talent. She was just, like, and, and like, I had no idea. And then they, uh, she talks about how the direct, she was like, I've never done an on-screen kiss before. So I was talking to the director, like, oh my God, you know, I've never, I've never kissed anyone on camera, let alone a woman, let alone ever in my life. And Kyle's like, but if I'm being honest with myself, I was obviously curious in order to say yes. I mean, I don't. And then she like puts her, she like puts her hand like under her chin, like, huh, like help. And that's when, that's when Ka- Kathy goes, don't be embarrassed. And Kyle's like, no, 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 no. I'm not embarrassed. I'm saying I was obviously curious. I said yes for a reason. And you know what? She's hot. What can I say? What? <laughs> I don't like Morgan. Can I just say that? I don't oh, like I've her. already, I've, we've already, uh-uh. We, uh-uh, I don't fuck with that. I'm sorry. What was that answer? And then Andy goes, million dollar question. Is there anything going on between the two of you? <laughs> Kyle goes, in that way? Yeah. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Andy, are you a couple? No. <laughs> Andy, do you have feelings for her? I mean, I love her. And she's my friend, and I love her. Girl. I She was trying so hard. She was like, how do I like deny this without denying it? Because you are doing probably what we think you're doing. And then you're, Morgan's going to see this. And then you're like, and yeah. She was that's, being that's so what careful. Was, like, you know she's talked to Morgan. Like, I'm going to have to deny this publicly. I'm not ready to come out about it yet. But like asking, do you have feelings for her? She was like, oh, my girlfriend's going to get mad if I say no. Right. She was like that when when Andy was being really good because I didn't think he was going to push her as much as mm-hmm. he did. And he was just like trying his best to just get a straight answer out of her. And I, I was here for it because she it was pain. It was putting her in a corner to like have to either just lie. Yep. And deal with yep. the repercussions of it. Yep. Or give us what she did, which we can read in between the lines. <laughs> Andy goes, could you see yourself with Morgan? Appall- she's like I don't know and oh, she and by and she goes and by the way and then she just stops she goes I don't know I don't know I'm like what were you gonna say what were you gonna say Kyle? and she can't even say no at all because when she when that people article comes out yep that spread in like a week or two yep she's gonna be like looking like a dumbass so she yep. absolutely can't say no exactly can't exactly, wait till that people article Kia. comes out exactly that She's like, I don't want to say a. S-. And he goes, that wasn't a no. And she's like, I'm evolving. I'm changing. I'm clearly going through some evolution on my own. Why am okay. I like just picturing the spread in people and like what their I can photos see it. look? Oh, like. I Me too. fully see it. There's like, gonna be a I'm hat like, involved. Can, there's a hat. There's they're both there's gonna be in so hats. many hats. And yeah. I feel like Morgan's so gonna be putting the hat. Like there's so many hats. And it's Morgan's just Morgan be putting, putting a hat, the hat on, on her. On. <laughs> what the hell is her name? Kyle? It's just like every single person. They're gonna be that. like like so a lot of wife beaters. I feel like <laughs> maybe a guitar. You said so many hats. So many hats. So many hats. So many hats. You don't even know how many hats. We're gonna be like on a ranch. It's gonna be, all, totally. it's gonna be set on a ranch. Oh, be a tr- for some reason, there'll be a tractor. I don't there know why. There will be a tractor. There's going to there's, there's be a tractor. There sure. will be a tractor there. And a guitar. You heard she's it gonna here be first. A, she's gonna, Morgan will be playing her guitar as and she, well. And Kyle's going to be like looking up doe Yes. Yes. That. Oh, my God. On the tractor. Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, then there's final thoughts from everyone and it was kind of blah, whatever, no big deal. And that's it. That was the end of it. I wish they had gotten final thoughts from, um, from, um, what's her Sutton name? Garcelle. Sutton Garcelle from the hospital. I know. Like they did like, they, they like FaceTimed it. Like, like Ivita. Okay, guys. So yeah, that would have been fun. But knowing that they went to the ER and Sutton wasn't no state like of real emergency, they probably waited for like six hours before anyone even like took them in. The ER is horrible. Horrible. I like, I, 
you never want to go there. No, if you have, if you don't have, if you're not being taken there in an ambulance, forget it. You walk into an ER and they're like, "Hey, I need to see someone." They're like, "Okay, your head is on. You don't have a gunshot wound. Yeah, you're gonna just, be yeah. just wait." I had to, I had to take my uh, friend when we lived in New York because she had like this horrible thing happen. Well, whatever. I could tell her medical business, but I was in I that know, right? ER in her that ER waiting room for hours. But I knew I would be, so I brought my laptop and some DVDs because it was the, the mid two thousands. So you can just watch stuff on your phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I I was prepared. I had like three to four DVDs ready there we go. to go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you got to come prepared like that. Um. Okay. Well, thank you, Miami. Thank you, Beverly Hills. Thank you, Pia, for joining on this. Oh yeah, journey. this is our last one. It's our last one. Our last one, baby. It feels like it was a shorter season. Maybe just because yeah. we got so traumatized from doing the other longer ones. But yeah. Oh, the light went out. These, hold on, let me get it. Oh, no. that Oh, the battery <laughs> These life on These lights that, are bullshit. It's the battery life on that thing is, I have it. It's charging right now because I, I'm going to have to make a video later. And I was, I had to make the, cho- on these dates, as I usually also yep. use it. Yep. And I can't because if I, then I have to charge it afterwards. Yep. And then it takes me longer to make my videos. So those things, they, they need to figure out a better, a better battery. But the light. thing is, the light is actually really good. It's just like, it won't. Yeah. It won't stay. Like it can for, be fully charged, but you get like an hour. Hour max. Ma- hour 15. Like I'm right at hour 20. It lasted that long. Yeah, so. it's, it's actually super frustrating because it is such a a good yeah. light. It's, it's just good to have that portable light. It. Yeah, bullshit. Anyway, well, we love you all. Thank you all for listening, for tuning in, being on this journey with us. Don't forget to follow Pia on all the platforms. Everything will be linked in the description. And bye. Bye. I love ya. Thanks for tuning in to She's Speaking with Emily Hanks. This show is produced, hosted, and edited by me, Emily, and brought to you in partnership with Cloud10 Media. If you are looking for bonus content, check out the Patreon. The link is in the description. To show some support, you can hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Another free way to support the pod, please rate and or review on whatever platform you listen. It's free and it helps the algorithm or something. You can also head to buymeacoffee.com slash she speaks and buy me a coffee or two. Make sure you're following me on all social medias. I am She's Speaking with Emily Hanks across all platforms, threads, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. That's it. Thank you guys. See you soon.